to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and its impacts on health and society. A safe, effective vaccine is the most important intervention to end the pandemic. Coming up on Polk Place, we will talk with the Florida Department of Health in Polk County about the COVID-19 vaccine program. Make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey and joining me in studio is Nicole Riley. She's a public information officer for the Florida Department of Health in Polk County. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Happy yeah, to be here. Yeah, happy to be happy to have you here. Going to talk a little bit about the uh, COVID-19 program, the vaccination program. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, so starting in January, um, the Department of Health, well, actually starting at the, begin, at the end of December, the Department of Health received their first shipment of vaccines. And early January, we began uh, providing COVID-19 vaccines to residents of Polk County. Um, it has, we have been working fast and furiously to disperse vaccine as it comes in. Um, in that time, we have, you all have been a tremendous partner to us in helping us establish a COVID-19 vaccination hotline. Uh, for residents to be able to call in to place their name on a waiting list or a registration list to receive a vaccine. Um, and then shortly after that, we worked with you all to develop a portal system where residents could go online and input their information into this vaccination portal um, to be on a registration list to be called when vaccine becomes available. So we are providing vaccine, but we are doing that by appointment only uh, weekly and as we receive vaccine. And so as we're making those appointments, as we receive our vaccine allotment each week, we are going to this portal or registration uh, system that we've created um, to make those appointments. From the time that you register on the portal, take me through the process, exactly what's going to happen from the time you register to the time you get to shop. Sure, so an individual can go online to register.polk.health and input their information to be placed on this registration list. If they are not, um, if they don't have technical capabilities, if they are not savvy with the internet, they can also call the vaccination hotline, 863 298-7500 and we have attendants working our call center that can help them register on this portal as well. They can register them or um, walk them through how to do that. So each individual who calls in uh, 65 and older or um, our healthcare workers or frontline workers um, may go on and register to be placed on this registration system. And once they're, once they're registered, they will receive an email back and they will receive um, a code or a number that just confirms their registration. Um, in the period of time, from the time that they've registered to the time that they receive a call to uh, come in for a vaccine appointment, uh, there will be a status that's listed. And currently, right now, it says uh, in waiting or in wait list um, that just shows that they are in fact on the wait list and have not been scheduled for an appointment. Uh, we are in the stages where uh, we are elaborating that list so then when they've been called to receive an appointment the, uh, the status can change um, to indicate otherwise. Um, I know that individuals are um, registering and then concerned, oh did I miss my call to receive my appointment? Um, it is taking a bit of time. Mm -hmm. We do receive vaccine shipments weekly and as we receive those shipments, we are very quickly pushing those vaccines out through the community. Um, we are working with vaccination partners through Lakeland Regional um, Health, through Bay Care, Winter Haven Hospital, and Watson Clinic at this time to help us distribute that vaccine. And they are working off of our registration list that we have that's through that portal system or through the call center. Um, so individuals may be receiving a call from Lakeland Regional, Bay Care, ourselves, um, Watson Clinic to come in to get their vaccine appointment. Let's talk a little bit about the, the vaccination process <clears throat> itself, if we could, please. 
Yes, so um, once that appointment is made, um, an individual will get a call to come in at any of the number of locations. Um, with them, they have to bring a form of, uh, of identity there. Uh, let's take that back. All right, take um, it from the top. Okay. So once they receive that or once they register through the system and they receive that call to come in for an appointment, um, they may be called to come into any one of those locations through Lakeland Regional, Bay Care, um, through through uh, vaccine sites that we are offering um, that the Department of Health is offering, um, and they can bring in their form of identification with their ID and proof of residency. So. Um, a phone phone bill or electric bill or something of, of that nature um, to when they come for their appointment. There also is a place on the portal site um, that they register at on the landing page that there there's a consent form that if they would like to, if they're savvy enough to go on and um, print, they can print their um, Moderna vaccine consent form and fill it out ahead of time and bring it with them. That's not required. It's helpful to expedite the process. Mm -hmm. Um, because they will have to fill out that consent form on site. So if they can print it off, fill it out prior to, it just helps the process go a little bit smoother, but no worries if not, it, they will be available on site. Um, and then they come in to receive their vaccine. We are providing the Moderna vaccine, so when they, it is a two dose series. So they receive their first dose with us, and then 28 days later, they will come back uh, to receive their second dose. One of the things that, that you mentioned earlier in the interview is the word patience. Talk about the importance of what the residents of Polk County need to do in exercising patience to, to get vaccinated. We do understand that these are very stressful, um, very scary times. Uh, we do understand that each and every resident wants to be vaccinated for against COVID. Um, this has been a long year, um, but vaccine is in limited supply and we continue to receive shipments weekly and we continue to make it our top priority to vaccinate all of our residents that are in, um, that fall under the governor's executive order right now, which is 65 and older and frontline healthcare workers. Um, so we do ask individuals just to be patient. This is, it's a long process. Um, there are a lot of individuals who are on our registration list who have um, a desire to get vaccinated and we only have so much vaccine. Um, like I said, that vaccine shipment continues to come in and we are, um, we are excitedly making appointments each week um, and doing that very quickly, but it's, it does take time. And so we do ask individuals just to be patient. We will, we will get to you. Uh, we have changed the front of the portal landing page to indi indicate a current status so that it shows um, the date in which we're scheduling appointments that an individual may have registered. So if an individual registered January 15th, or whatever date that may be, there's a status there that says we are currently making appointments for individuals who registered on X date mm -hmm. um, to help individuals know that we haven't missed you. Um, it's just taking time to get those appointments scheduled. So we do ask for patience in this process. Once again, run through the portal uh, website and also phone number for those that might not have access to that. Sure, so um, the portal website can be found at register.polk.health and it's um, a, a wonderful site that you all built here um, as a partner to us. It's very easy to manage. Um, you can go on and still input your information to be placed on that registration list. And if you're not comfortable with technical capabilities, you may call the vaccination hotline. That is 863-298-7500. 7500. All right. Well, Nicole, thanks for coming in, visiting with us today. Thanks for having me. I've enjoyed it. And come back and give us an update next month, please. Sure. Yes, absolutely. Many of the decisions regarding who gets the COVID-19 vaccine depends upon on the decisions of the state and federal government. This includes the amount of vaccine Polk County will receive when and how. The state's allocation plan is based on phased approach while the vaccine doses are in limited supply as they are now. Polk County is following the required prioritizations set by the federal government and the state of Florida 
in directing the first vaccinations to high-risk health care workers and residents of long-term care facilities at the highest risk of contracting COVID-19, as well as any person over the age of 65. Now, if you need more information, you can contact the Polk County COVID-19 vaccination hotline at 863-298-7500 or to register for a COVID-19 vaccine, go to register.polk.health.